want your money. I want my money. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Quick tarot. Angel tarot. Nice. Reading for shits and giggles. We'll play it back and see how it goes. My intent with these cards is to shuffle them. I'm going to ask, how am I feeling today, and what should I do about it? The first card will be how I'm feeling today. The second card will be what I should do about it. So we'll see what the angels say. I think those are great questions. They really are. We got some jumpers. Jumpers. Jumpers got to stay out. Oh my god, how many of them? There's three. Three jumpers. That's not groovy. Okay. Jumpers have to stay out, eh? Jumpers must be kept. Oh. Kept out. And read along with... So now I have five cards to read instead of just two. Alright. How am I feeling today, and what should I do about it? That's the intent. I wish these cards weren't so big. They just—they're not comfortable. They're not functional cards. <laughs> Rip us stuff. Rip us stuff. And they're just hard to shuffle, and they hurt my hand after a bit. Cause you gotta, you gotta shuffle this stuff real good, man. You gotta do it right. Okay. I think I'm ready to cut the deck and get my two cards. I feeling? Oh, it's a good one. Well, they're all good in this deck, really. <laughs> all all right. right. They're all good. We got, how am I feeling today? Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Hmm. Sounds about right. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. Okay. We've got the little book that comes with the deck. And then we've got the big book that doesn't come with the deck, but it goes with the deck. Page of Earth. Okay. Where are we at? Oh my gosh. Okay. Four of Earth. Night of Earth. Page of Earth. Situations. Good news about financial matters is coming soon. Your plans move successfully forward at a steady pace. You may adopt a new interest or passion. Huh, we were, I never do that. A youth, <laughs> <laughs> or people is next. A youth who's a student or who enjoys studying. Someone who can be optimistic but still realistic about what can be accomplished. Successful, dependable, patient, frugal, trustworthy. I am frugal. That's very true. Additional meanings of this card. Doing your research. Done that. Not all of it, but enough of it. For now. Wisdom beyond one's years. Eh, I don't know. A return to school. Materialism. Eh. I do like my things, but not that much. I can also do without my things. Alright, should I read the big book of Tarot thing? Nah. I've got five cards here. I'm sticking with the little one. Alright. 
what should I do about it? We've got the High Priestess, Haniel, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. I can do that. I'm a patient person. And it's card two in the in the major arcana. Alright. Here we go. You drew this card because the answers you seek lie in your feelings and emotions. Probably I am a sensitive soul. Trust your intuition and the power of your natural psychic abilities. Always pay attention to your dreams and any intuitive messages you receive as they are accurately guiding you. That is true. There's no need to race into action right now, however. Instead, take time to gain more insight since things may not be as they appear on the surface. Okay, got it. Withdraw from the noise of daily life and ask for guidance from your angels and guides. Everything you need to know will be re blah, 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 blah. will be revealed to you in time. Just have patience. Additional meanings of this card. Silence is golden. Oh, indeed it is. Mm -hmm. Study spiritual topics. All over it. Keep your dreams and desires to yourself. Okay. Learn from emotional situations. Yeah, wow. <laughs> keep, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Radley. Thanks for that. Okay. Archangel Haniel is the goddess-like angel of grace and feminine spirituality, such as intuition and clairvoyance. Like a true high priestess, Haniel will act as your spiritual teacher and advisor to aid you in discerning which feelings and ideas to follow as trustworthy guidance. Call upon Haniel to increase your clarity in connecting with the angels. Oh! Okay, I can do that. Haniel, me and you, sister, you got this. Mm. Alright, that. That's how long that was going to be. Except three cards fell out of the deck while I was shuffling it. So I have to. I must address those. <gasps> We've got the world. The artwork on these cards is just beautiful. Alright, the world. Card number 21. Archangel Michael. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment. And I don't know if I should go through the little book and keep reading or just... Stop now. Hmm. All right. We'll go through. 21. The world. The angels sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. I have a feeling this is about my tomatoes in my garden. <laughs> Looking robust and fabulous, finally. After a month of being planted. Or almost a month. Three weeks. You've grown spiritually and, and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. That's true, too. That might be what it's congratulating me on. You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. Uh, the contentment. Yes, working on that. You feel a great sense of gratitude. That is true. Attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude, baby. Mm -hmm. Additional meanings of this card. Perfection. A move to the next level. Receiving an award. There's no such thing. There's no perfection. Perfection and human being human. It's just it's messy. Being human is messy. That's right. A new house or job. Eh. I don't work. Complete clarity. Eh. How about partially more clarity? Cosmic awareness. Kinda. Yeah. Recognition for the use of your talents. Mm, sure. Freedom. Yeah. Who, 
who doesn't want that? Archangel Michael oversees your divine life purpose. Ah! My purpose, my purpose. Sit down and be quiet. You have no purpose. You have no purpose. It's from the yoga path series on Gaia. <laughs> One of the yogis says that, which is hilarious. And so every time someone says purpose, I'm like, my purpose, my purpose. I know, right? All right. And he knows what roles your soul has been born to fulfill. Call upon Michael for guidance as to your next steps and for the courage, strength, and confidence to take them. Okay, Michael. I'll, I'll be right with you. All right. The next card, the second card that fell out of the deck is... It's another archangel! That's amazing! It's Gabriel. Yeah. Oh, I can't get it to... There we go. These cards are beautiful. The artwork is just lovely on them. So he's number 12 and awakening. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Oh, I'm pretty sure I kind of do those things. My energetic weekly report... Gabriel was the one I chose. Ah, I love Bradley Valentine's energetic weekly reports are fantastic. All right, so number 12, Awakening. It's time to review your plans. According to the card, or to this card, and look at things from a new perspective. This is a recurring theme. Look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill, this is temporary. So make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. <laughs> People who work are funny to me. Extra time. Uh, anyways, you may need to step outside more in the mainstream right now. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure I've done that. And embrace your unique and eclectic beliefs or attitudes. Fuck yeah! I'll do that. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention, and gifts. The tithing is returned by the universe many fold to you. Okay. I can do that as well. Additional meanings of this card. Epiphanies, selflessness, unexpected life changes, the need for patience, the power that lies in being oneself, unusual solutions. Archangel Gabriel is the angel who helps people become divine messengers of love. Yeah, baby. When you speak, think, and act from a place of love, others are irresistibly drawn to you. That is true. All right, now what's the third card that fell out? It's another archangel! This is insane! All right. We got the sun. You see it? Archangel Uriel. Happy outcome, brilliant news. Or, not brilliant news. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. <gasps> this is amazing. I love it so much. What a great reading. Makes me so happy. Is it raining again? I think it might be. I see a dark cloud right there. Oh. Alright. This card indicates that it's a wonderful time for you. You're succeeding in ways you never dreamed possible. Endeavors that you begin now are blessed with abundance and success. Keep your thoughts positive and everything will turn out beautifully. This is also a time of brilliant new ideas and solutions. Have confidence in yourself. The work you've done personally and spiritually brings astonishing changes to your life. You're on the right path for your own enlightenment. Additional meanings of this card. Joy, public recognition, I don't need that. The, the attainment of great personal insights, those I like, those are good. Vibrant physical and or emotional health, I like that too. 
Uriel is the archangel who helps with mental functioning, including focus and concentration. Call upon Uriel to spark new ideas and solutions, as well as to increase your confidence in your intelligence and wisdom. What a... That was lovely. You got three good cards that jumped out of the deck. I know! There's 70 however many cards and only 20 some of them are archangels and I got three archangels that jumped, jumped out, out at me. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Okay. 